Man, I'm not going to hell with you niggas. <laughs> it's real life, man. It's what I go through every day, man. I go through this every day, trying to fight the urge to be somebody else. Man, God called me to be who he called me to be. Ain't I right, brother? God right. bless you, bro. People out here struggling and hurting, man. Y'all, man, come on, man. Y'all don't see it? Y'all don't see it? Y'all don't see people around here struggling, man? They ain't got no home, nowhere to stay at, man. These people are struggling, man. Y'all tell me y'all don't see this, man? Y'all don't see this. Y'all don't see this, right? But ain't nobody doing nothing. Ain't, man, come on, man. Y'all don't see this, man? How you doing, bro? I don't have no money right now, man, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I can pray for you and ask God to help you with your situation. You know what I'm saying? Man, may God bless this man, Lord. I ask you just to bless him and touch him, Lord Jesus. Touch him and fill him with the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Father, when I see him again, Father, I see him on the other side, Father. Lord, I have to follow this. Praise your name right now. Let the glory of God just touch him right now, Lord. Jesus, let the glory of God just touch him right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, be, I pray for you too, brother. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed in the name of Jesus. May God be with you. My God. Huh? Why come to y'all? Huh? Why come to y'all? It's Spanish. It means go with God. Uh huh. That that's just the way that, that that's their tradition. I it, I think why. It's it, it spelled with a B, but, but they pronounce their B's as a soft B. I think it's related to the word voyage. Voyage, to go with God. Woo, Jesus. Mm. Just to go with God. That's what you want to do. You just want to go with God, right? You want to be released from all this torment and all this pain. You just want to be with Jesus. You want to see a true testimony. You want to see something where you can say you believe that, yes, this is Jesus Christ. May your wishes be commanded in the name of Jesus. That God would take care of it. But being a woman of great faith, I knew that works without prayers were not works with dead. So we got out in the community, family and friends, and we had to go door to door. We had to find the murder of our son. And then here in 2010, our grandbaby, who was eight months old, he was murdered. But there was a change here in Tampa because before that night was over, Byron Patty Jr., people were calling me on the phone. I'm talking about young people now. The murderer, this is his name. This is where he's at. So there has been some great strife. My reality right now as a family, when we go to the graveyard, we're seeing side by side, son, grandson, who was murdered in these streets. But I'm not just crying out for them. There are also two murderers that have life sentence. And these young men was 18 and 19 years old. Their lives are over and done with. This family, we gotta move, as we say in the church, from the church house to the street. I would like for us to take off our suits, to go out into Rose Park. I'm not afraid. People was telling me that you could be murdered, you could be killed, but I walked with the king, so I wasn't worried about that. It was about finding justice for battle, both battles. So we have got to stop waiting for folks to come in here because right now our community distrusts everyone because there have not been anyone to really seem to care about the black on black crime. We talk at night tonight, but the reality of those mothers who uh, murderers have not been found, they were told just like me, let's just pray, because black folks are praying folks. 
But right now, it's time to take this town, this community, and go right, right in the neighborhood. You don't even have to go that far and start knocking on doors and talking to not only our youth, but we got to talk to the children who bear these youth because these were babies, heavy babies, and they can't teach anything because they don't know anything. Right. So we have got to get back to the village, raise the children, and child, I'm looking around and I see a lot of pastors here, a lot of preachers, and I stand as a bishop and say I'm shamed because they have not brought them in by the veins. They have not brought them in by the bus load because in every church, every church, there's a child that has been murdered or somebody that murdered that child. And where are the people? Where are we? So don't be discouraged, panel. This is the beginning. It should not be the end. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's on you. Oh, it's on me. Okay. Well, I think as a culture, sometimes we let our feelings sometimes get in the way. And instead of fighting and being angry with one another, we never want to try to find out what's the solution or what's the answer of what's going on. We too quick to judge people and feel like we know their story. And we don't because we don't know where we come from ourselves, half of us. So how are we going to solidify or find a solution to something until we know how to direct our answers in the correct way? I mean, somebody can answer that for me. What's the solution? Because I believe if we stop fighting and, and going against one another, that's a big solution right there. I'd have solved a lot of this fighting and this hating. That we should be solidified. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. He's staying in your, your homeboy old house. Oh, for real? Uh-huh. I ain't tell you that? Uh, that nigga stay right here. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Hello? Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do. See, I do all. I do everything, Miss Miss Tucker. I do everything. Business cards, flyers, anything in promotion. I, I do it. You just have to let me know what you want, when you need it, how you want it done. Yeah, man, it's your boy Yamad, man. Getting a shout out to them boys too, man. No paper, no pen, my nigga. That's how real life. That's what we do, man. That's what we do. Blah! Deuce, deuce, nigga. You know, you see, man. I ride from deuce, deuce. All the way from 22nd. I'm the original one. Not, not number one, but the original one. <laughs>